scale that we're given now is to use two centimeters to represent one unit on the x-axis and use two centimeters to represent one unit on the y-axis. So again, what you are going to do, you are going to draw a vertical line to represent your x-axis, right? So we're going to draw a vertical line. And your line should be drawn with a ruler. So your line should be straight. So draw a vertical line like this to represent your y-axis. Then what you're going to do is to draw a horizontal line, right? That intersect this vertical line at 90 degrees to represent your x-axis like this. All right, now that you would have drawn your two lines, you are going to label them, all right? So we're going to label which one is the Y and which one is the X. So this one is going to be our Y axis. And this one is going to be our X axis. And I just like to label each end. So over here, I know that this is going to be my negative x-axis. And down here, I'm going to have my negative y-axis. Okay, so now I can put on my scale. So here they say that I must use two centimeters to represent one unit. First, first thing that I'm going to do is to measure two centimeters on both axes, all right? So when you are you are doing this, you should always start at the, the origin. So you should always know what your origin looks like, right? So let us put on our origin. So this is our origin here. So if I measure two centimeter, note in the previous one that we just did, it takes five of these small boxes to make one centimeter. So if it takes five of these small boxes to make one centimeter, it means then it is going to take 10 of these small boxes to make two centimeter. So for every 10 small boxes going horizontally, we are going to put a stroke on our x-axis to represent two centimeter. So let's go. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So this is the stroke. So we put a stroke right there. So the distance from the origin to this stroke is two centimeter. And then we're going to count off another 10 strokes, 10 small boxes, sorry. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So that's another two centimeter there. And this would be another two centimeter. And this would be another two centimeter. And note that each stroke are equal distance apart. So if you should take your ruler and measure between any of these strokes, you will get two centimeter. So we're going to do it on the negative x-axis as well. So from the origin, we count off 10 small boxes and that will take us right here. So that is two centimeter. From this line that we just drawn, measure count another 10, it will take us right here. So that is two centimeter. And from this line that we just drawn, count another 10, so it will take us right here. So that's two centimeter there. Now they say that the unit is one, meaning that we are counting by one. So for every two centimeter, we're going up by one. So that means from the origin to this point would be one, 
then two, then three, then four. Here, it would be negative one, then negative two, then negative three. And then on the y-axis, it's the same scale, so we need to measure two centimeter. Again, every 10 bucks, we put a stroke to represent two centimeter. So two centimeter would be there, another two centimeter from that line would be here, and down here, we put a stroke right there, put another stroke right there, and right there. And all you need to do is to put on the units. So if you put on the unit, this is going to be one, two, this is going to be negative one, negative two, negative three. And there is your Cartesian coordinate system, all right? With the scale of two centimeter, to represent one unit on both axes.